So without my co-host here, I'm just going to do this story quick because this is a short story and not, not you know, one that uh, that I can just whip through. But there was grad student strike. Hey, how about that? Um, Temple students walked off the job, uh, grad students. So the TUGSA, which is a funny, funny name, the Temple University Grad Student Association, okay, uh, Temple University's grad students walked out on strike this morning. This was back again, January 31st, about eight days ago. Reef is, I know, invisible. Reef is having some computer troubles, and he is back, ladies and gentlemen. No kind sound? Of, sort of. Sort of. No, We're working on it. You can hear me, right? Now I can hear you, yes. Yes. So winning is going to take bottom up from Temple's unions and undergrads, shoulder to shoulder with Tugsa on the pickets. And um, you can see them there. Higher ed workers are helping drive labor struggle right now. Yes, you, you can move. Yay, no googly-eyed reef. Um, as last year closed out, 48,000 strong grad worker strike flared up. We know at the University of California, not long after, adjunct struck at the new school. This morning, Temple University's grad workers joined the ranks of, of that struggle. And the new school won concessions and and University of California grad workers also won concessions. So this was in left voice, Jason Kozlowski, Indy Media Award honoree. Okay, can't afford rent, time for a pay cut. Wait, huh? Yeah. Temple's grad workers are organizing the Temple University Grad Student Association. One of their major demand centers on wages. Their admin doles out 19500 a year to pay grad workers, but average annual rent in Philly runs about 23000 so they can't live. And obviously they have to get some kind of a job in order to be able to make ends meet here. But Temple's bosses, though, seem to have seen an explosion in profits, which is weird because Temple reported to the IRS about $165 million in revenue over expenses, which is more than double the year before. Wait, what? Yeah. This year, Temple's leaders also raised tuition 3.9%. Why? Because they can. The glut of profit is paying for a massive temple bureaucracy. The president alone brings home a million bucks a year. Army of VPs, assistant VPs, deans, associate deans, assistant deans, and senior deans. And e all of them usually rake in six figures. So that's where a lot of the money is going to high, high level salaries. Hux is demanding a 50% raise to cover rent and food as well as subsidies for child care and transportation. And I think that that's legitimate and realistic. And what are they supposed to, I mean, cut $10,000 a year off the salary of every single one of these administrators and six-figure level people. They can much, much yeah. better afford that than, and, and hand that $10,000 directly over to these, to these grad students, okay? Tugsa had a strike, held a strike authorization 99% had passed at the end of last year. Since then, Temple leaders barely moved. They offered a 3% raise across the board. Yeah, thanks. But And they increased parental leaves just 10 days. Some people are still in the hospital after 10 days. They rejected health care for dependents out of hand. So you work at Temple as a grad student. You're making 90, you're making less than minimum wage, nineteen thousand five hundred dollars a year, barely over, and you only get health care for yourself. You can't even buy health care. Well, first of all, you can't even afford health care for yourself. Um, but even if you could, right now they refuse to budge without huge concessions from people whose work lets the bosses take home somewhere between six or seven figures. Hugs have walked out as well as should. Fight between grad workers and the bosses will have major ripple effects. Jason's own union. The teacher, uh, the Temple uh, blah, 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 Associates Union, uh, which or organizes teachers, librarians, and other academic workers, has a contract that runs out in October. And if Tugsa wins real gains against the bosses, they stand a chance of fighting off pay cuts, winning better pay, job security, and benefits. Probably not. These guys are just going to pocket the money. Nobody's holding yeah. them accountable. But well beyond his own union, a winning strike could bring a fresh surge of energy to workers and students, could well inspire other unions on campus like the organizing undergrads. Interesting. Not to mention workers across the city and exploited grad workers across the city. I'm sorry, across the country. 
Um, if Tuxa doesn't win, Temple's going to be all the more brutal in demanding pay cuts and other concessions from every other union attacking budding union fights here on campus. Yeah, that's how it works. So they have the power to win. Grad workers are standing at a major choke point at the, for the university. Teaching and research assistants lead hundreds of classes and hand out tens of thousands of grades every semester. On strike, they're flexing their strongest muscle, the labor that helps run the university. This is what we've been saying. You collectively stand up and withhold your labor. The university's labors know this. Uh, leaders know this. It's why they're trying to turn the students against Tugsa and make this is telling them to keep showing up to class even though their TAs are on the pickets and report to, to their striking teachers. Well, what are they supposed to do? They're sending threatening emails to faculty like, like him to warn us against joining the, the pickets or striking. There's a good chance that Temple will tell the people in the TAUP that they should teach and grade for the grad workers. So they would be scabs. Scabs. Mm -hmm. You want me to be a scab? Mm-hmm. Winning this fight is going to take active, concrete help from lots of other students and campus union workers, refusing to, to teach strikers classes, joining the picket lines, organizing ourselves to join the strike, bringing students to the pickets, along with coffee, mittens, and umbrellas. Undergrads can use their meal cards to deliver meals. Even the Teamsters are helping to show the way. Local 623 emailed Temple's leaders that they'll deliver no packages to campus during a Tugsa strike. That's solidarity. My union should do the same. Start organizing our refusal to teach at all during a strike. We could take a page out of the New York City professors too and vow not to scab for Temple's millionaire president. Yes. Yes, Jason. Thank you. And they'll need rallies for, their, for undergrads to show what the strike is fighting for and to build wide support. Grad workers will especially need the support of the the students organizing the new Temple University Undergrad Worker Organizing Committee. That's cool. So, yep. one tool for building power is to do what strikers have long done, create democratic spaces at the picket lines every day. Those can be places for, work, for, for workers from all parts of campus to meet, plan, share, and coordinate, teachers, librarians, and undergrads alike. Yeah, but that's also going to bring FBI, COINTELPRO, and, and infiltration agents. Understand that. Democratic assemblies would be excellent places to get more people actively involved, interested, and, and invested in the strike. They would be ready-made, accessible spaces for tugs at a lot to link up with, win over students and other workers at the pickets to coordinate across campus groups. And they're just another way to fight the union-busting misinformation that's already been flowing out of the administration's threatening emails and websites like a sewer. Gross. Tugsa has to win for the sake of all the other students, workers on campus. Real, active, concrete solidarity will make that a reality. <laughs>